now i am going to use this particular cat so here take we are having one condition right we are going to take one condition let us see how it is going to be done now think that is dot set car at set car at of first let us set this zero eighth position that is where will be the zero eighth position with i think that see here okay let it be uh, let us think that this is the swap method which is having int i comma int j it is containing the start index and it is containing the end index okay now okay now set caret of i let it be i as 0 and j value as 7 set caret of i at i index that is 0th index you are going to place n so s yes dot car at of j so here it represents indirectly n okay Be because the return type of caret is car so car will be there as the second argument for this set caret i means it is zero so because of this condition first statement we are going to achieve this one still here n only but before spoiling this index value let us store that index value in one temporary variable let us take one primitive char ch is equal to s dot char at of i okay so now we are going to achieve this one still this one is n only now thing p with ch now once again you just take this one set char at okay of j ch what is j value it is 7 at 7th index i am going to place this p now this n will get eradicate and p will be here so in this fashion it is going to get iterate think that my i value is here that is 0 and j value is here so to perform that one j value should get decrement i value should get increment so till what value should should get happen think that here currently let me put it it's very important for you guys focus okay 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 and this is for the guys who didn't catch that point okay now i is here and j is here Be because of i value at 0 and j value at 7 we are going to swap these two okay right and i value get increment to this position and j value will get decrement to this position and because of that these two will get swap and i value will get increment and j value will get decrement so this will come here and this will be here and because of i value at 3 and j value at 4 we are going to swap this one and this one will go here okay so we have completed see this is very important this thing this particular condition is very very important focus you have to catch each and everything as a minute one you must be like a night hawker okay now still i value is less than j this operation has to get iterate so what is a valid condition to write at this while statement i is less than j okay that is the only one condition and increment i and decrement j and close the while loop and close that particular method so now you may have doubt if you are having only single character i mean a word with single character then no problem even if you reverse it will be as it is no need to try anything so that is the only condition here the main intention to make you guys understand is only this condition you have to be well aware of this one how we can write the conditions okay if you know how to write the conditions i am sure even if you just explain the logic 
some interviewers will be very happy with your answer okay that's very important see part of computing science student is only one thing if you are good in logic that is you have to identify which pattern which particular style style is existing in that to solve it as a problem analyzer there will be input to you which is well known which is well defined and there will be output which is well defined one you have to know only one thing how i can develop it on a particular platform that is very very important for a computing science student okay don't worry about logic see if you think thrice i mean like uh, 10 times 4 times 20 times definitely you will get the logic don't need to worry but you have to know how to transform this particular oral thing into jvm or interpreter understandable language is very very important okay that is what this duty of computing science student now let us develop this particular method that is swap okay now i think you are very clear about what the statement must come in this while iterative statement i mean what the condition must be at this iterative statement okay now can ch equal to s dot caret of i am going to store the first one uh, that is i th index position caret local variable now s dot set caret of i comma s dot caret of j and once again s dot set caret of j comma ch and lastly increment i and decrement j that's it so now the starting index is 0 and last index is 7 okay we passed we are going to pass that one swap w comma j okay now the output will be like the first word will get reversed and remaining words in a particular string will be as it is okay now after that you have to make the next word starting index how you can make that one you just make w equal to i plus 1 because why i plus 1 try to focus this one it's very important i values 8 so next word starting index will be as 9 that's why i put it as 1 okay don't worry if you are having n number of uh, spaces what will be the scenario like that see we have developed this scenario for all the things i mean for all the boundary conditions let us see even that thing later okay after that you just and one more highlight condition that is i want to highlight here is so this will get happen successfully no problem and what is the position if my i value is at last position okay at that time what i should do so this condition will not get executed so last character i mean last word will not get reverse right it won't get reverse let us see let me show even that one to you so as i said after performing the reverse operation of a particular word again at last we are going to reverse the entire string right so now call once again swap 0 comma s dot length minus 1 okay and finally print that the same reference variable okay now let us compile it and run it what will be the answer let us see so java c interview 1 and java it's getting compiled let us see if there is any errors let us solve them okay let me take that particular statement uh, which is uh, an invalid one here okay and compile it yes it got compiled and now run it you can see we didn't uh, terminate the particular condition guys make sure i didn't increment i variable here okay that's a mistake okay it is being in infinite loop okay let us compile it and run it you can see here this this particular this didn't get reverse okay so for that we have to write the one condition like or 
i equal to equal to s dot length minus one and here one more thing is there if s dot if i equal to equal to length i mean s dot length minus one means let us think s length is as 20 or 30 okay then i value will be as 29 so if it is like 29 j value will be like 29 okay after assigning this 29 to j we are decrementing so j value will become as 28 okay it should not happen so till the last character reversing should have should get happen so what i'm going to do here is if if i same condition i equal to equal to s dot length minus one if it is the condition you just assign i else decrement j okay because one minute j equal to i okay now it will be good okay first i am assigning j i value to j here at let me make this one clear to you guys so if i value is like 29 now j value will be as 29 so if it is like 29 that is i value is equal to equal to length minus 1 means this statement will get executed and this else will not get executed and that j value as 29 will get passed if it is like space here we are having i value as 8 right so that's why i is not equal to s dot of length minus 1 so else block will get executed so what is i here let me put this one clearly okay i will be as 8 and j value will be as 8 but what is the last character index it is as 7 so that's why this statement will get executed and j value will become as 7 and that we are passing as an argument for this swap function and it is performing some swapping okay now let us compile it and let us check the answer while start of length okay now compile it and run it yes you can see this is durga at number one position you can see this is our real i mean uh, actual input right what is our actual input position one n o dot at durga is this okay let me make you guys clear at starting itself let me print that particular input like s okay now you can see position position the first word that came as the last one that is this should come first okay and s should be the second one and durga should be as third one and at at and no dot and no dot one one and position make sure everything got reversed without creating any extra objects in the memory it's very very important to you understand it now what if the case if you are having much spaces don't worry we have written a very good logic here even that will work for this one let us check it see we are having much spaces after this right here of course we are having much spaces that's why in the output we are having here much spaces and after position we are having much spaces okay and so here much spaces are there and this is durga at no dot one and here spaces are there and that's why we have taken this thing okay there each and every space will be considered and that will get iterated okay that is the logic which works internally and i don't want to emphasize that one you do practice on your own and this is what the first interview question based on java data structures and algorithm in coming sessions we are going to discuss some more interview questions okay which are very important i'm sure if you practice them thing is not to practice them to understand the concept which are lying which are hidden back of them it's very important if you understand them i am sure you can feel comfort in writing your own logic and the most important thing is i didn't highlight this point yeah and this is what uh, this first interview question and in coming part of the sessions we are going to see much interview questions if you 
know what are the concepts i mean what are all the things which hidden back of them then i am sure you you will understand you will get one type of thinking so you can write the algorithms on your own okay and thank you for watching this session keep watching